we have its CEO, its incoming CEO, Dr. Tan C. Ling, who joins us from our Singapore studios today. And uh, congratulations on your new appointment, uh, Mr. Tan. Let's talk about what's happening here for your company. Interesting prospects. The sales have risen about 7% for the full year. And if you want to strip out those uh, exceptional items on your balance sheets, it looks like Parkway's profit actually rose 29% after tax. So people are asking, can you actually sustain this pace of growth in the new year? Thank you, um, Susan, and good morning. Certainly delighted to be here. Um, we, we, we look forward to this year uh, with uh, renewed optimism, although we are still guarded uh, because I think, you, as you can see, that there seems to be some dark clouds over the horizon uh, in some of the European markets, particularly pertaining to Portugal, um, Italy and Greece. But notwithstanding the externalities that may come our way, we think that um, this is going to be another great year for us. Um, particularly, we, um, the medical tourism markets from um, um, the Middle East, um, Malaysia, Indonesia, Russia, Bangladesh, and you know, we're even seeing, uh, beginning to see some uh, tourists coming, medical tourists coming in from the U.S. markets as well. Mm. So um, yeah. we are certainly delighted and excited by the opportunity. Yeah, Dr. Tan, they really come from uh, all parts of the world. In fact, some of your clients, Parkway's clients, are said to include celebrities and politicians, including a Zimbabwean leader, Robert Mugabe. Also, you have a former Indonesian president, Megawati, as a, a former patient as well at your facilities. And uh, that's uh, in face of uh, Indonesian patients making up the biggest group among the foreign customers, mind you, since I brought up uh, the ex-president, Megawati. But uh, what sort of volumes are you expecting this year? Um, we, we are quite encouraged by the number of foreign tourist arrivals in the first uh, one, month, uh, one and a half month of this year. Um, we hope that um, in our traditional markets that we continue to operate in, such as Indonesia and Malaysia, we continue to see renewed strength and growth in those numbers. Uh, we are also reaching out to non-traditional sources of, of medical tourists. And interestingly, um, we are now beginning to see patients coming in from the U.S. for um, total hip replacement, knee replacement. Mm -hmm. These are uh, procedures that we do very well. We do them every day in our hospitals. And uh, we are generally optimistic that uh, we will be able to get more of these um, medical tourists coming to our shores and into our hospitals. Yeah, Dr. Tan, considering you're seeing all this uh, this influx of international patients, also you have uh, you know your revenue being generated pretty well outside of uh, the locale that you're based in. But what about expansion at this point? Why not look at China? Why not look at elsewhere across the Asia Pac? We, we have a, a, a very good um, team, you know, and as well as a talent bench that actually help us to look and explore opportunities all over the world. Um, we find that the Parkway brand equities gives us a lot of um, leverage in, 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 in Asia and perhaps even Asia Pacific markets. Uh, in Malaysia, we will continue to expand and grow our footprint. Um, I think you, you, you've noted a lot of news about the Iskandar Malaysia, which is just uh, mm -hmm. north of uh, Singapore. Um, We're going to put a hospital there within the next uh, two to three years and we are also expanding into some of the tier two cities in Malaysia. Um, over in China we are um, particularly excited about the prospects of the Chinese government looking into boosting their primary health care sector. I think they, they, they have um, um, sort of committed to putting a couple hundred billions into um, developing a primary care sector and we have a very strong um, uh, platform upon which that uh, we can expand into through our world link clinics that we acquired some years ago uh, out of mm -hmm. Shanghai and Chengdu. So okay. particularly, yeah, yeah, that's right, you know, for, for these running, markets, we, yes, yeah. thanks. Yeah, we are running out of time here. Let me just quickly ask you one more question, Dr. Tan. Um, it's about the cash that you hold at, at Parkway. In fact, you have the most cash on your books, uh, up to 433 million US dollars. Uh, what are you gonna use this cash to do? And are you gonna pay it back and maybe dividends to your loyal shareholders? We have announced uh, um, a special dividend. Um, I think in the medium term, we are looking at um, um, continuing our organic growth. We're also developing the Novena Hospital. Um, you, you would see that the, the launch of the medical suits, uh, suites is actually quite imminent. Um, and from time to time, when there are equitative uh, type of um, acquisition targets and so on, we're quite prepared to look at it. As okay, well. what an interesting, uh, interesting business these days. Dr. Tan, thank you so much for joining us. That's Dr. Uh, Tan C. Ling of Parkway Holdings. We're gonna